Today at our 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 2500, we're going to be taking a look at installing the Putco bar style bumper insert in stainless steel, part number P86195. Now here's what it looks like once we have it installed. As you can see, it's got a nice mirror finish. Now it's made out of a heavy gauge stainless steel that's going to prevent rust and corrosion. It's going to provide you a nice OEM look. And with this grill in place, it's going to help keep large pieces of debris from flying into your coolers or your radiator of your vehicle, which can save you lots of money down the road if something was to come in contact with your cooler or your radiator. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install it. Now to begin with, we're going to have to remove this plastic fascia on top here. There's 12 push pins that hold it in. You can take a flat bladed screwdriver or a panel tool. I'm just going to pry up on the center and pull them out. Now that we have all of our clips out, we can lift up our cover. And we're going to set this to the side. Now we're going to remove the four 10 millimeter bolts across the top of our grill. Now that we have our screws out of the top, we're going to just grip the grill and we're going to pull firmly outward and it's going to release the clips. This might take a little bit of time, just kind of be careful with it. Pull it back and set it aside. Now we have our grill out of the box. It's got a protective coating on it and we're just going to peel that off. Just kind of have to work it all the way around. Now you want to be careful with this because it is a little sharp on the edges and it can cut you. Now we're on the bottom side of the opening on our bumper. And there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt on the outside and there'll be one on the outside edge of the other side as well. We're going to take out those two 10 millimeter bolts. And we're going to set these screws aside for reassembly once we put our grill into place. Now you can see we're going to have two tabs on the bottom and two tabs on the outside. Now the screws we just removed from the bottom of our bumper opening are going to go through these two tabs here. And if your vehicle is equipped, as some are, with the bolts on the top side, you would remove them as, as well. Now our vehicle does not have them, so our kit does come with some nuts. They're going to clip over the edge of the bumper and a quarter inch bolt and a lock washer. Now you can see on our, our nut, it's gonna clip over the side of our bumper bracket there. It has this end that protrudes out. And you wanna make sure that is pointing towards the front of the vehicle because we're gonna put the bolt in from the back side. You wanna just line it up over the hole. We'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Now we can take our grill we're going to gently slide it down behind. Lining it up with our holes. We'll take our quarter inch bolt and lock washer that came with our kit. And we're going to put it into that clip that we installed on the back side of our bumper. And we're just going to start these hand tight until we get them all started. And we can reinstall the ones that came out of the bottom side as well. And you might have to push a little pressure one way or the other to get this bolt into place. And we'll repeat this for the other side. Now we can tighten up our two 10 millimeter bolts on the bottom side. Now we can tighten up the two bolts that came with our kit. And those are going to be 7 16 And we'll just run those down as well. Now we're going to reinstall our grill. On the back side of our grill, you can see as we're, after we removed it, that it's got these metal clips that are going to snap in to the fascia of our vehicle. And they are slotted so we can adjust it to the center and make sure our grill is nice and centered on our truck. Once we get our grill down into place, we'll get it lined up.
that'll snap into position. Then we can replace our four 10 millimeter screws along the top. And we'll be ready to put our filler panel back into place. Press it into place, snap it down. And that's gonna do it for a look at and install of the Putco bar style bumper insert in stainless steel, part number P86195 on our 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.